In today's video, we're going to do a little sequence to help with relaxation of the pelvic floor. Do some little yoga moves just to get everything a little bit stretched out. And we're, we're not going to work on contracting through the sequence. We're going to work on relaxing. So I just want you to remember to breathe into the sides of your lungs. So try to use your diaphragm when you're breathing and really expand your rib cage out to the side. And I want you to remember to allow your pelvic floor to relax. So this isn't an exercise video. We're not trying to create any, any contraction or any strength. What we're trying to do is relax and just let everything get a little bit of a stretch. Now you might need for this video a little towel um, depending on your flexibility. So just have a little towel, a little folded towel close to hand in case we need it. And you will need a little ball for the end of the video. Now, if you have a non-relaxing pelvic floor, so if you're suffering from a, oh, an overly contracted pelvic floor, or if you have like pelvic pain, then you're better off using a smaller ball that's a little bit softer to start until you get kind of used to the sensation. Um, if you're a little bit afraid, then you can also just use a smaller, softer ball. Um, or you can use, if you have a tennis ball, maybe one that's not super hard, something that's got a little bit of a squeeze on it, can be pretty good. It doesn't You don't have to buy a special ball for this, but it is really, really useful to have a ball. We're gonna sit on it. <laughs> I'm going to use this as a little therapy ball. Now this is quite hard, but I'm used to doing this. I do this quite a lot, so, um, so it's okay for this, for me to use this one. So have your ball, just have it close to hand. You can just uh, place it to one side and we get ready to start. So for the start, we're going to come into a wide-legged child's pose. So for wide-legged child's pose, you want to take your knees so that they're about mat width apart and you want to have your big toes touching behind you. Sit down onto your heels and just allow your body to relax forward. And we're just going to take a few breaths here. So taking three or four breaths, allowing the pelvic floor to really relax and let go, allowing the belly to hang. So no effort here, just completely letting go. And then gently lifting the head to look forward towards the hands, bring the hands in a little bit closer and take the weight over the hands. Find a nice all fours position. So for all fours, you want to make sure that your shoulder is over, your elbow is over your wrist. You want to make sure that your hip is over your knee and that your ankle is in line with your knee. So everything is nicely stacked. We're going to do some cats and cows from this position. So as we inhale, we're going to round everything. So the tailbone all the way to the neck, gazing up towards the ceiling. And as we exhale, we round everything in the other direction. Now we're doing a relaxed pelvic floor through this movement. So we're not trying to contract, we're just trying to get a little bit of movement into the sacrum in both directions and just feeling through the spine as we move. We exhale as we round inwards and we inhale as we round in the other direction. So just feeling into your body. On each inhale and exhale. And coming back to a neutral position. So we're going to do a little pigeon. So it's a more of a yin pigeon. We don't want to be so active in this position. So just take the hands a little forward, bring the left leg forward so that the left knee is in line with the left hand. Come up on your toes on the back and just bring the leg back a little. And you want to allow the hip to relax down towards the floor. Now your backside on the other side should be reaching the floor. If it's not, Here's the first place where you get to use your little towel. You can place it in underneath your backside. You want to find a position where you can allow yourself to relax and let go. And you're just going to come down onto your hands, make a little pillow with your hands and just let your head rest 
into your hands. And relaxing the pelvic floor in this position. So just letting the head be soft on the floor, letting the body be soft, surrendering your hips, and trying to completely release and let go. Still breathing into the sides of the ribcage. If you find it difficult to come down and relax in this position, you can take a bolster or a pillow, place that underneath your chest so that you're lying up a little bit higher, or you can allow yourself to come all the way down so that your head is on the floor if that's more comfortable for you. And bringing the hands back in under the shoulder, taking yourself up. We turn out the toe on the back foot. We press into the toe to lift up the knee, press into the hands to send that other leg back. And we come to the opposite side. Now, when we're doing this, we shouldn't feel any pain in the knee joint. So the knee is closed. You're not actually yanking the knee in any way. Again, you want to just walk that back leg a bit so that you feel, you should really feel the stretch on the inside here. So you're getting into some of the little muscles that help to support the pelvic floor. They play a role in the pelvic floor. You're also giving the pelvic floor itself a little bit of a stretch here. So again, you can place the blanket underneath your bum if that's a little bit more comfortable for you, or you can just allow your backside to relax down on the floor. And again, we're going to allow the head to rest on the hands or it can rest on the floor. So whatever is more comfortable for you. Still breathing into the sides of your rib cage and letting go. So really relaxing your body into this. Gently lifting the head, taking the hands back in underneath. Again, we turn out the toes, we lift the back knee up, we press into the hands, we send the leg back. We want to come back into all fours. We come into a kneeling position and we're going to do a little squat. So this is again where you may need your blanket. So we roll it up just in case, place it to one side and we're going to bring the feet out and allow ourselves to squat down. Now when you squat down, if your heels aren't coming to the floor, you can take the blanket around or the little towel around behind you and put your heels on the towel. And you want to keep a nice engagement here where the back side of your arm is pressing on the inside of your leg. And when you come to your squat, you find a nice comfortable squat for you. You're going to just allow yourself to relax. So let the pelvic floor relax here, letting go any tension. So if it's really uncomfortable for you to sit in a squatting position, if you can't find relaxation in this position, you can actually place a little cushion under your bum so that you have something to rest against. Or if you feel that when you try to relax in this position that you're either going to fall forward or fall back and that's a little bit of a challenge for you, if you have a yoga bolster, you can place a yoga bolster in front of you and just allow yourself to rest a little on it. Or you can come to a wall or maybe have a sofa behind you where you can let your body just lean back a little bit onto that. But if you can relax in this position, then this is really the right way to go. So just allow yourself to let go here. So releasing the pelvic floor. The belly is also hanging here. We're not holding on to any tension. We're just allowing everything to be a little bit soft. And from here, we're going to move away any little props we have behind us and we're going to lie back. So you don't have to turn sideways on your mat. You can just stay facing forward. And then you lie back slowly and carefully. And then we're going to take the feet up and we're going to do a little happy baby or happy husband, as I like to call it. Shake a little from side to side. 
Try to relax your hips, relax your pelvic floor, let everything be nice and soft. And then releasing the right leg down to the floor, just give the left leg a little squeeze in towards your body, going in the opposite direction. So squeezing in, getting a nice little stretch. And then we're gonna take both knees into the chest, just take a little hug. You can roll over onto your side and take yourself back up, finding a comfortable seat. And this is where the ball comes in. So taking either your small or your slightly larger ball, we're going to place the ball on the perineum. So the perineum is that little space between the anus and the vaginal opening. So that's, there's a little bit of, you, there's an intersection there between very many different muscles. And here is a place that can get quite tight and quite sore. But by placing the ball on the perineum and then by allowing ourselves to sit and relax on the ball, we give everything a little bit of a stretch. Now, it shouldn't hurt. Um, so as I said, if you do have any pain in that area, if you have pain, you can actually just sit and relax. Um, if you want to try a small squishy ball, then you can do that. Or you can go for something that, like this that's a little bit harder. So I'm just going to place this on the floor. It's a little tricky to find the spot. Find the perineum and then just allow the body to relax down onto the ball. So that's it. And then we sit here. You're going to close your eyes. You're going to allow yourself to relax. So you'll feel that it's kind of sitting a little bit in between the sitting bones. And as you start to relax, just let your eyes be closed. Let your mind be soft. And start to just allow the weight of your body to gently surrender. Just releasing everything. Let the belly hang. Keep relaxing the pelvic floor. You shouldn't feel any pain as you do this. You should just feel a little bit of a stretch. If you have some tension, you might feel the tension releasing as you do this. So imagine that you're allowing everything to melt down over the ball. So you're trying to allow your muscles to stretch around the ball and you're trying to let everything be really, really soft. We're not going to stay here for too long. So just keep relaxing, keep releasing, nice gentle breath. So you're not forcing your breath here, you're just allowing yourself to be very calm and very relaxed. And then gently just bring your hands onto the floor in front of you and just allow the weight to move forward take the ball away from beneath you and then just allow yourself to relax down onto the floor. You can keep your eyes closed, keep relaxed and just notice that lovely sensation, a lovely release after having allowed everything to stretch just a little. And then if your eyes are still closed, gently blink them open and that is it for today. So hopefully you feel nice and relaxed. Hopefully your pelvic floor is feeling a little bit more stretched and a little bit more relaxed. If you've been doing a lot of kegels, then this is really, really good. I mean, you have to, every, every couple of days you should do something to stretch it out. So I did an awful lot of this when I was doing my rehabilitation between sitting on little balls and bigger balls, um, and doing stretching. I did a lot of a lot of yoga, a lot of different types of stretches. Any even active stretches that you do can help. If you practice yin yoga, in yin we hold our stretches for longer. So there you're working more on stretching the connective tissue. So for example, the pigeon, the sleeping swan in yin, you would stay in that position for five minutes and it's perfectly fine to stay there for the five minutes. But you have to relax and make sure that you're not feeling pain as you're doing this because it's impossible really to relax when you're in pain. So try to find the right balance for you.